There we go. And now we've started. Now we've Hello. officially started the show. My name is Paul Gordon. And who are you? Uh, I'm Bodhi Agora of the Agora. You're trying to avoid the official opening show thing. Could you tell the studio audience why that you have a stigma to that? You believe things should not be done that way, correct? Don't have official openings. Don't introduce no, I just yourself. I just know it's not as effective. I don't. I I still can't even hold myself to that standard yet. I still do it. I I actually I'm I think I think it sometimes. It, it, it's warranted. Sometimes it's not. Often it's not. Often. And if you and, it, and there are there are shows that I've noticed that I watch on YouTube or YouTubers that I watch that I've noticed that I didn't notice before. I still like them. I still watch them. Oh, but yeah, they but begin they with, "Hey guys, what's up?" <laughs> oh, it's that's... me again on this channel that you subscribe to, so you know what it is. Hey, everybody, love you guys. I missed yeah. you. You missed us? It's really? I don't. It's so we could get into the meat and potatoes. I wish I had the emergency alert on my phone. I wanted to play it. We can find it. Why don't we do we that? We can find it. But... I'm going to go to the I website. Sent the, I, sent the, I sent the link to you so you could rip it, but it's just not going to do it. Oh, I didn't I didn't have time. I, oh. I, but But I can find it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so I'm at the website section. I'm going to go to YouTube's, and I'm sure we'll find it there, and I can play it. Unfortunately, you won't hear it, but the studio audience will. Let's see. Hawaii mm -hmm. warning. Uh, did, you, did you know? Fact here. They actually played the air raid sirens? No. In Hawaii? Yeah. Wow. People were pooping their pants. Okay, where is where is this? Okay, I'm going to go back to the show title. I'm going to go it, back to, because we're going to get this. This is important. This is going to be a meandering show. This isn't going to be like our our normal I, shows because this I is. Think, I, I posted the yeah, link. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to open it up. Okay. That's what I'm doing. I'm you doing open it up now. That can, you open up that can like they're opening up their sewers and shoving their babies inside. Wait, wait, where is it? Oh, Did you know on. that? No. Literally, as the text message is going through, they're taking their kids outside and stuffing them in the sewers as a makeshift bomb shelter. Dude, where's the message that you sent? I, it was, uh, I think I sent it as a comment. A comment? Where? Where was the in, comment? In our Facebook group for the show. Oh, okay. I was looking in... Uh, I was looking in our message. Yeah, no. Our personal messaging. I don't Nothing. have the. Don't worry, I don't have the. You, you folks, you don't get the pleasure of seeing what it is that I'm looking at right now. Uh, I'm actually going to be making a T-shirt to commemorate the Hawaiian ballistic missile crisis. Yeah. Yeah. So survivors can rejoice. Uh, Dang it. Tyag thinks it was aliens from space. Well, that's a fact. I, that I might don't... be. But I don't know why they would call it a missile. Wouldn't they just say the aliens are coming? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, hold on. You going to play it? Let me. Take I'm it going... to the top. Wait a Take second. Oh, never mind. I click on the. You know what this is? I'm going to play just a brief moment of this just for fun. Okay. There you go. You sent me this yesterday. You remember this video? Yes. This is the. Uh... Why aren't you playing? There you go. So, helicopter police <laughs> chasing a whole bunch of motorcyclists. Totally unrelated to what we're going to talk about, but uh, uh, back to the drawing. Actually, Where the frick is this link, dude? I, I posted it, like, this morning. And you posted it? Where did you post it? Oh, my posted God. It? Oh, I remember a... I saw it. If we sure had to launch, on if, we had to hit, if we had to hit the code to send an emergency missile crisis alert, we would fail and people would be dead because of this. You know what? You know what would be really good about that? Uh, a lot of people, they would just wake up dead. They would never go through the terror. Or just be like, hey, baby, how you poof? See? So what, what would you do if you got that text message alert? 
Well, actually, I have a story that I'm going to focus on yesterday, and uh, I I probably give you an answer after I read this story, which is actually on Forbes of all places, which is you will survive a missile attack. And it's don't waste time saying teary goodbyes because actually more than likely with the type of nuclear missile North Korea had, you would survive that attack. You need to act immediately, and then it, it's going to give you advice on what to do. So I would learn what's in that Forbes article. Or, unless, of course, I read it, I'm like, this is total crapondo. I would be, I'd be preparing for survival. So I would be like immediately uh, pouring out as much water into jugs as I possibly can. Oh, dude, I would go to the store and get all the eggs and milk and bread I could. <laughs> Yes, no canned goods, just no canned goods. No, those are no good. Gone, I want gone perishable, right for the perishables. <laughs> perishable short-term sustenance. Yeah, it's so the key I, to survival. Yeah, so I think i'd I'd be I'd be getting ready to hunker down. Uh, in in no, other, man. there are other areas in my life in which I'm good. I'm good. Hunker I don't need down. to look after certain things. It's time so, to hunker down. So yeah, instead of instead of hugging and kissing and all that, I'd be like, "All right, everybody, we're gathering. We're gathering our resources." Who are you laughing at? Are you pointing at your girl? Ed, no, Ed just said Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 got it. As to what happened to the missile? Oh, too. I don't know. I don't know. I have to check the. So where is this ding link? And I can't find it on YouTube. It's. I almost said it's really cool, but that's not. That's not at all true. It's not really cool. Uh, Ty, so what, Ty just said his, his neighbor has chickens, and we got eggs every single day. I don't know. I don't know that chickens If, if there's be... nuclear fallout, though, the cesium getting into the grass, depending on what you feed your chickens, you could be quickly consuming radioactive eggs. Yeah. And milk. You don't want to go down there. Chicken, you know, I'd chicken. be like... Do do you have like those iodine pills? If you don't have them on hand, we'll you know whoop up on yeah, your someone. Thyroid. Your thyroid's gonna suffer hardcore. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but uh, if you take the iodine, your thyroid's gonna suffer. No, no, no. If you take the iodine, it block it blocks. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So if you don't have iodide, like if you know where iodide is, go get that right away. Yep. So get the iodides. Store up on the waters. I don't know, Preferably man. Preferably suppository. Uh, Waters, make sure you have filtration systems that can block nuclear fallout. I yeah. <laughs> don't know if that exists. So, so what happened in Hawaii over this weekend when alert went out? Uh, I mean, there, imagine, just picture yourself. See, you're on an island. You're not going anywhere. You're not no. driving away from this. No. Now, see, uh, I mean, okay, let's let's give you the facts as we know it, okay? And I'll add one other uh, element here. And, the, and if you go to uh, isdaily.live, you can see all the archives of the shows, including the show notes for this show, which is for today, Tuesday, uh, what is this, G January 16th? So you can see a link to the article that I'm reading from, which is really, it's a collection of blurbs from other articles to give you an idea of what happened. So around 8.07 a.m. local Hawaii time, an emergency alert was sent out to all cell phones in caps. Ballistic Melissa th missile threat inbounds oh. to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Now, we I can't find the freaking thing he sent. But apparently, people also got a verbal message sent to them that said, this is not a drill, seek a million shelter, and told you things to do to try to prepare yourself for death, basically. And about 10 minutes later, Hawaii Emergency Management Agency tweeted that there was no such threat, no missile threat to Hawaii. Now, uh, then... The second emergency alert went out at 8.45 a.m. Now, some people never got that Hawaii emergency, so they want 
from 8.07 to 8.45. But even if you just want 10 minutes, 10 minutes is enough to experience some stuff. Uh, so U.S. Peace P Pacific Command in a separate statement said it detected no ballistic missile threat to Hawaii. Earlier messages were sent in error. So then, mm. yeah, I don't uh, police. Go ahead. I just don't believe that. I, I, I can't imagine it was an accident. Did I say it was an accident? No. Okay. Well, we'll get to that. Let me let me go through the 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 black and white setting it up for anybody who, even if you know the details, just make sure that the details are fresh in your mind before we get into what we think is really going on here. So. Uh, it took 38 minutes for that second alert, and cops were getting calls after the 10-minute warning. They were still getting 911 calls. And uh, uh, according to police audio, officers seemed to immediately question the legitimacy of an alert sent at 8.07 a.m. Now, you think about that. The cops are immediately questioning the legitimacy. So how effective do you think a legitimate message will be? <laughs> Especially now. So, uh, that, uh, this is not a drill. The public, however, uh, 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 so the cops did, weren't buying it. And one minute after the first message went out, one Honolulu police officer told the dispatch center that we was getting, this is the wording here for Mercury news. We was getting flagged down by people on the street asking where to find the nearest bomb shelter. Officers then told dispatchers that media stations were broadcasting news of the incoming missiles. Wow. They told dispatchers that media stations were broadcasting news of the incoming missiles. So media centers are like, holy crap, we're going to get a lot of views for this one. <laughs> Let's get this news out. Hey, incoming missile, incoming missile. Wow. So... An eyewitness account from a Darwin cinematographer, uh, Mr. Manzi, said, fairly alarming when you receive a text saying ballistic mis middle, ballistic middle threat. In this is not my writing. This is an excerpt from the Daily Telegraph. Ballistic middle threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. He said it took a took a good ten minutes before authorities confirmed. It was a mistake. But again, not everybody got that 10-minute uh, notice uh, ahead of time. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to play something here. This is... uh found it. Oh, you found it? Oh, good. Okay, I'm going to play that in a second. Let me play this first. I'm so glad you found that. Uh, so this is, this is what people were doing. They were sending their kids down drain pipes. And they believed in sending their... Oh, you're laughing. Oh, this is... You're never going to be able to run I'm, for president. I'm, I'm laughing because the the image of stuffing your child into a sewer in the hopes that they will survive. What's going to happen when they come out of the sewer? And the I don't whole blame, you don't. You're yeah. not thinking. All you're thinking is live now. All you're thinking is live now. And you're so thinking. Why would you want to die with your child? <laughs> no, you think the child's going to live and you're going to die, and you can only save one of them. And there's only well, a room for the kids. Who's gonna I'm gonna, take care I'm gonna, of let, let, you, you're not thinking of that. You're thinking live now. You're just thinking live now. So let me yeah. press this here. Let me press the button here. Uh, and I know you can't hear it, but 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 the, the, the father is sending his kid into the the shot. I, I think it's actually pretty poignant and uh I have a child and yeah, it's I I I know a little bit more maybe than these people to know that that might not be the best idea, but I can understand if that's all you know, that you would be reduced to that, that you would do something like that and think that's... It's a terrible plan. Because well, it's a, what, what, I, I'm not saying it's not a terrible plan. It's the only the plan hits, you know. What if the missile hits, goes into the pavement, and it torches out all the pipes, and now you have a cooked kid, and you're the one that's alive? You'd feel horrible. You Why wouldn't don't you want know to know this? Your... You, you're not thinking. You got. You think you got minutes. You got minutes to make a decision. But we'll get to that. Th seconds that, to make a decision, and they took minutes to stuff them in a sewer. 
No, minutes. You got minutes. You got minutes to make a decision. It's uh, about 10 to 12 minutes before it would have hit. Okay, now I'm going to play the emergency alert. Ready? Ready. This is not a drill. If you are indoors, stay indoors. If you are outdoors, seek immediate shelter in a building. Remain indoors well away from windows. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building or lay on the floor. This we is not a test. Has ended. Or a drill. This is not a drill. Take immediate action measures. Repeat. The U.S. Pacific Command has detected a missile threat to Hawaii. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. If you are indoors, stay indoors. If you are outdoors, seek immediate <laughs> shelter in a building. Yeah. Remain yeah. Well That's the message that you got. If you're driving. If you're yep. driving. Safely to the side of the road. Right. Safely. Pull safely to the side of the road and go into the building. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, kiss, kiss your, your proverbial goodbye. Exactly. Right. So, but what I'm what I'm surprised by is the utter lack of preparation. Nobody, you're on the island. You're probably the closest target to a missile threat. North Korea has been threatening Russia, you long Korea. before Trump. By the way, long before right. Trump. So uh, you think there would be things in place, but we don't really do we don't do bomb um, the air, the air raid drills anymore. Because there's no I serious never, threat. I never did them in school. Did you? Uh, you were you were in school during the Cold War, right? I was, and we we didn't we 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 didn't. No, I was actually. It totally was. Oh, I think you're uh, that old. Right. No, no. <laughs> well, think about it. Okay. In elementary school, I was, let's see, it was the 70s. I was in the, in the 70s. I was in elementary school. So we didn't have duck and cover, but we did do drills. We didn't do the duck and cover that you did in the 50s and the 60s. By the 70s, the, the, the illusion was dead. There was no duck and covers. And now we, we have active active shooter drills and stuff because that's supposedly more likely but then there's still this missile threat that no one drills it's just a bit weird for, it's like you think Hawaii would have something for volcanoes or tsunamis and that would be a similar procedure and then people would be able to react and they would have somewhere to go you know one of the regular features that we have on iState is uh, iPrepper yep. and this would be it's great. It's there for a reason because nobody is – and, you know, you think prepper. You think nutty, end of the world, whatever. No, no, no. No, there's all kinds of reasons to be a good prepper. Uh, one of them is – okay, we – one of the reasons that I shifted gears and I'm not a full-on prepper. I'm like a – I'm prepper light, I guess you could say. And it happened after Hurricane Sandy in which – we 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 didn't have anything. We weren't prepared, and we weren't even directly hit. But speaking of this unpreparedness, uh, D- David hits a point here, a really good point. Maybe it was a test to see the reaction of the public. Oh no, we're and gonna get to that. We're gonna get to really, that. I think that, that's. I really think that's what it was. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. Uh, okay. I mean, my, if you want to get to my, it now, I, I, I do have a couple more things that I wanted to, to just go over. Lead? No, it's okay. Is, it's okay. Yeah, that, that, that is the lead. We're, what we're leading I'm, up to is we're going to talk about what was really going on. Was this, there's, all, there's a number of theories that, that we'll go yep. through and Aliens, talk about. Spaceships, missiles. Right. So all, all I'm doing is going through the nuts and bolts. Okay, this is, this is what we know. So then... Then they had the narratives that went out immediately. So the first one was simply wrong button sent false missile alert to Hawaii. That was that. These are the types of headlines that you see. So it's just wrong button. That's all you got at first. And then it was they elaborated on it, and then they tried to claim that it was a missile alert test going wrong. So they were they were trying to run a missile alert test, but somehow it went wrong. And then they had the, there was a, you know, it happened during a, a shift, 
And that's why nobody sent out the, the wrong, you know, the notification. How do you go 10 minutes, 10 minutes without sending the follow up warning? You don't. And then the, the other narratives that emerge is, uh, uh, Trump, this is all Trump's fault that, that because of Trump's bellicose language to Kim Jong Un, this is what's created the fear. I'm sorry, if this was under Obama and you sent out that warning, you would have had the same exact reaction. It wouldn't have been any different. It has nothing it to do with matter. Trump. But then the theories are emerging. One of the theories is that we'll get to has to do with the deep state did this to undermine Trump, and I'll, we'll talk about some of the ways. Yeah. And Gavin Gifford it. called it unacceptable. Uh, a false alarm missile warning in Hawaii underscores needs for talks with North Korea. Meanwhile, other Hawaiians have been coming out and saying, it's time for us to just bomb North Korea now <laughs> so we can end this threat because I don't want to go through this again. So, I hate to say it, but it's not just North Korea. What do you mean? To that person. It's not just North Korea that's a threat. Oh, right, right. But right now, that's the perceived, that's the yeah. big bad boogeyman right in your face. I, I mean, right, I, I just want to look real quick before we get into the theory part. This is, this is why I had the website part up. I'm going to do a check. We're going to look at, we're going to Google Hawaii missile threat, and we're going to look at, just at a glimpse, what are the stories that the MSM is pushing right now? So let's find out. Are you ready? I think it's the Oscar Mayer conspiracy. So I'm I'm okay. In regular Google, we have Japanese broadcaster apologizes after false North Korea missile alert. So apparently, the Japanese also received a false missile alert. Did you it's know about that? Sound, it's starting to sound like there was a missile. That's that's one of the theories. So then we got missile threat alert for Hawaii a false alarm. Oh duh. Okay, so that's interesting. Google's results here. Just on Google, two days ago, 13 hours ago, 15 hours ago, two days ago, three days ago, seven hours ago. Seven hours ago is from Extreme Tech. Terrible UI caused Hawaii's missile scare. And that's one of the narratives that it's uh, 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 not a, you know, not, uh, a user interface is, is UI. So they're blaming it on a terrible UI. That's the new narrative that's coming out. But what's interesting is on that first page, the newest article is, is seven hours ago. This is still a hot item. Now, I can check Google News. You should get more recent items there. But still, to check in Google on the first page, and most people aren't going to the Google News. They just go to Google. Uh, why is it that the front page has articles that are so old? So then I look here, and the article ages are, well, here's the top story is from January 13th. That's the top story on the news search. And then we got one wow. seven hours ago, 12 hours ago, 10 hours ago, 21 hours, January 14th. That's strange. That's, that's a strange algorithm that CNN has produced to put missile threat alert for Hawaii, a false alarm. Officials blame employee. So Hawaii Missile Alert Interface had a one-word difference. Between, uh, that's the blaming the user interface. So, so there you go. So the, the, the new narrative is that it's the UI. So that's, that's the latest update. Now we're updated on all the nuts and bolts. And now, Bodie, we are ready to go to into. Ponder. Are we ready to ponder? This is the ponder part. This is the ponder segment. Should I play the ponder bump before we get no, to the ponder true. part? I'm not going to. I won't. I don't. I think that hurts your shows. I'm just saying. You think my bumps hurt the shows? Yeah, on YouTube, no. I, on Facebook, I would yes. really like feedback on that. Why? What do you guys think of the bumps and all the stuff that we do? Definitely, feedback would help. Okay, so we're in the ponder zone. Okay. So what 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 do I think really happened? Now now yeah, let's hear Bodie's. Yes. And now that there's another report of a missile over Japan, I'm starting to think there might have been an actual missile. 
and uh, it either failed mid-flight or something intercepted it, um, and then they canceled the the warning. and And it's kind of like most potential disasters or warnings and stuff. The government is going to utilize that to test the public reaction. Whether or not it's real is is irrelevant. They're going to take advantage of it in any way they can. And then it's always a, a catch-up game or a point-the-finger game because if there's actually a missile strike, they would be pointing some fingers. Would they? Yeah, okay. So your theory is that it's a missile. That's one of the theories. Now, I'm just going to go through all the theories that I've heard so far. So okay. one theory. I'm going to go with the deep state theory. The two, the two. I think there's two deep state theories that I know of. I don't know if I can think of both of them. I can think of at least one of them. And the one deep state theory is that this was done to further undermine Donald Trump and make him seem like an hysterical danger to get more and more people to fear Donald Trump so that they can support uh, more, more. Once Donald Trump loses enough support, then maybe the Republicans will then feel like they have cover to go ahead with impeachment proceedings and remove Donald Trump from office. That's, I'm not. All these theories, by the way, as I'm putting out there, these are not me. These are not my ideas. So I'm not saying this is right. So I, I just, how would that even discredit Trump? That has nothing to do with Trump. Well, the narrative coming out, and I've seen it, although it's interesting if you go to the front of CNN. Now, this, if I, when I go to the front of CNN and I don't see it splashed all over the place, that tells me something. I mean, not mm -hmm. CNN, Google. When I go to the front of Google and I don't see it splashed all over Google, that tells me something. I was, for a brief period of time, seeing the Donald Trump narrative starting to uh, emerge. That this is all Donald Trump's fault. There's been a number of celebrities who posted historical t uh, hysterical tweets cnn said some hysterical things as well that, but i you know, think the that's i think that's the nature of the, the current political climate anything that happens just like a, a, any presidential error it gets blamed on the executive as if the executive has power over these things it it's it, i think it's, it's i think that is more a symptom of just the way everything's going right now. Yeah, I, I don't think this is typical of uh, what we're seeing. The duh, and I'm not a Donald Trump supporter. I gotta say that uh, nope. uh, Trump hysteria. Yeah, I. It's absurd. It, it's 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 I and I don't th I I think it's really a symptom of of the degree to which this coercive enterprise has taken over such and complete I, control over so many aspects of our lives right that everything oh, yeah. is amped up it's like right. it's it's a zero sum game i mean it's like not not a zero sum game it's a winner take all contest and the stakes are getting higher and higher so the bloodletting is getting more and more fierce i think that's what you're really seeing it's not so much about donald trump as as where the nation is heading in that area so, yeah, I, I don't give a lot of credibility to that deep state narrative, and especially with what I've seen emerging lately. And then, of especially course, there is... And all the other things. It's, there, there's a whole lot of hysteria over things that have no basis. As always. I mean, as always. But, but you, you think about this. This is, I mean, this is the ultimate fake news story. And it was sent out by the government while, meanwhile, the government, not just the United States government, this is like, okay, I go through 2,000 to 3,000 articles a day where I'm looking to find what am I going to cover on iState. I'm looking for stories that you're not going to typically find in other places or that you're not going to find in a lot of other places. Uh, and I... I see all the, there's certain things that I'm tracking that I know that my community I think my community is interested in and worldwide many nations including the EU as a governing body China Australia Germany England America they're all working on the fake news problem how do we combat fake news now I could go into a long tirade about what's really going on there but still 
ostensibly they're working on ways that the government can protect the Amer their their citizens from fake news. And it's interesting in so many of these nations, you know who the boogeyman is that is that is ginning up this fake news hysteria? Russia. <laughs> It's not just in America. The Russia scare is not just in America. So it's the government that spread the biggest fake news story of, I don't know, the last five, ten years. <laughs> it's government. So uh, the the next conspiracy theory is what you said, which is that there actually was a missile, that a missile was launched, and either it failed or they knocked it out of the sky. Uh, uh, the theory, the theory is that it came real close to actually happening, right? And they got it just in time. But now I wonder if, you know, if they were able to get it just in time, why wouldn't they play that narrative up? Because they're, they're trying to create this dependency on. I mean, uh, just like you said about the fake news thing. They're trying to stop the fake news. The government is is trying to do this for the people. If they could intercept the missile, why wouldn't they flaunt that? If a missile... Unless they failed and got lucky. That's one possibility. The other possibility is if the missile was launched from North Korea and it almost annihilated a significant portion of Hawaii... What do you think the mood in America would be instantaneously, and who do you think that mood would favor? Trump. Yeah. Nationalism would be out the giggy. Everybody yeah. would be waving their American flags and calling oh. for some serious war. Yep. So that so might would, be. But Go why ahead. wouldn't? Uh, the war machine would want to take advantage of that as much as possible, but here they are. The war it machine has someone in power that they don't trust. Fair enough. And, and again, I'm not. I'm putting out the theories here. I haven't even said what my theory is yet. Uh, yeah. By the way, this isn't it. This isn't my theory. Uh, <laughs> so then, um, no, because we've hit we've hit the juicy ones. Wait. You think those are the juicy ones? See, oh, 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 oh. where's this going to go? We, 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 we may not know yet. We may not know. Well, then, then the, the 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 next theory is that this is a test to see exactly how do people respond during a crisis during uh, this that is a life or death crisis. Now that, that can be for that's yours initially, right? So then it's the, 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 the study is it could be nefarious or it could be for the good. The nefarious is, okay, what is the flow? What is the flow of panic so that we understand in times of panic where to get the people, where to, where to gather them up, where is the migration occurring so that if and when crisis, all hell breaks loose, we know where people are going to go so we know where to put you know where we we know where the bottlenecks are where we can get as many people as we possibly can and then the the benevolent uh view of that is how prepared are people what do we have to do to get them better prepared if we just do a fake drill we're not really going to get that information we really have to make it real of course they could never ever admit to that cuz whoever made the decision to do something like that they would be tracked down and they would be drugged through the streets by their by their gonads and if they were a woman they would sew gonads onto her and then drag <laughs> her down to the street so that's that's what we're talking about here so yeah so then there's those two theories and i think there's a lot of credibility to those and then there's another theory and this is the theory that i'm going with and 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 the reason that I'm going with this theory is there's something unique about this situation in both Japan and in Hawaii. You're talking about a situation where you believe you have 10 minutes, 12 minutes at most. You're on an island. You're not getting on a plane. You're on an yeah. island. You're not driving any significant distances. You're on an island. 
So those study scenarios that I gave you, those, those last two, you can do that anywhere. You can do that in New York City. You can do that anywhere. You can learn a lot. But I, even, even mass exit, it, it, it's a unique situation on an island, though, because if you were in a mass exit situation in the mainland, the, the roads aren't big enough to even manage that. So people would still be stranded. They would be stranded, but they would believe hurt. that they weren't. In Hawaii, right. you know you're stranded. you got no hope. Yeah. The, the the percentage of people in Hawaii who, who are looking and saying, I'm a dead person, is going to be much higher than as if this warning happens in New York. I mean, sure, a certain percentage will, will be, I'm a dead man, I'm a dead woman. But others are going to erroneously believe, I can get out. And they're going to head to the escape routes. There's no escape routes. Nobody in Hawaii is looking to leave the island, other than maybe some fishermen maybe on the you know, maybe some, some. So this is my theory. And because of this, because this is an island, because a, a, a much higher percentage of people are going to become instantly fatalistic and face their own mortality. That this is going to be a long-term study of what happens when, um, this is why the title of the show is what it is which is uh, near-death uh, mass hysteria. This is a near-death, my theory, this is a near-death mass hysteria experiment. What happens to, I don't know how many people are in Hawaii. Let's check the, the population of Hawaii. How many people are in, in Hawaii? And I think in Japan, I don't think that, that alert affected all of Japan. So I don't know what that affected. Uh, 1.4 million. 1.4 million people just went through a near-death experience. Of the 1.4 million, I'm going to wager that at least 25% confronted their own deaths. You just fathom that. Yep. Uh, you know what? That's actually a fair. That's a that's a really good sample size. That's a huge. That's a really really that's excellent sample size. What happens when what four hundred thousand some odd people simultaneously go through a new near death experience and you can track what happens? How do their lives change? How many people when you know the suicide rates increase? Do 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 people change their lives for the good or what happens? How many how many people relapsed? How many people relapsed? Yeah. Exactly, you know, drug addicts, whatever. You're like, dude. Well, I don't know if smoking weed is necessarily in the uh, drug addiction level or not, but uh, uh, I'd say drinking. <laughs> Tapping now, man. Never <laughs> do it. No. So, so, and and I, 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 I think that's, I, you know, I'm that's that's my theory. I, I'm. That's the one that I kind of settled on. Now that one I haven't heard from anyone, by the way. If somebody's said it, I don't. I didn't hear it. I'm not saying that nobody has said it, but that's my theory. That this is an experiment. This is a near-death mass hysteria experiment. That's why this is the title of the show. I revealed my experiment or my theory in advance. What are we getting from the peanut crunching crowd? What are they saying? Uh, North Korea was doing a quality check by doing a dry run. Everything is very big show and a test. Uh, false flag. Total mind. F fudge, 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 fudge. Uh, some right wing people say they are reacting for nothing, but in reality, it does not matter how people react, but how the North Korea reacted. Talking about people distract everybody. That Kim actually reacted. I don't understand that one. Uh, so it was designed to see how Kim Jong Il would be or Un would react to a th a possible threat counter, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's possible. I I don't think that you go through all that just for that though. I think Kim Jong Un's response. I don't know. I think he probably. 
do you think that he buys into the whole mythology, his own mythology, that he is, in fact, a god? Uh, probably. So, I mean, if that's the case, then he probably... Yeah, he probably would feel like whatever it is he's going to overcome and accomplish, you know, overcome it. So I don't know that that would, I don't know. I don't I don't necessarily buy my theory. I like my theory. I like it too. Uh, That's I, probably I, the one. I, I, I think it's a highly likely one. And, I'm, you know, for me, I'm actually really curious myself. What mm -hmm. happens when at least 400,000 people in reasonable proximity to one another. And that's another thing. They're going to be in reasonable proximity to one another. They shared in this massive near-death experience. It's like there is an instant bonding at a profound level that just occurred in Hawaii. Like you, 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 you're going to see people in the grocery store and you're like, you know, really, mm -hmm. what happens now? I, I want to, yeah. What, 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 uh, I'm more curious what happens next. Are people reevaluating their lives? Are they going to come up with a plan? Are they going to be prepared? Are they going to start preparing? Are, did, realizing this near death experience, are they now reshaping their lives with, a, with a new enlightenment? Is this something everyone should go through? I think that what you'll end up seeing is you'll end up seeing, I'm going to say three paths. Mm -hmm. You're going to have one path, which is going to be led by fear. One path, which is going to be led by uh, hope, determination. I'm not going to let this ever happen again. And then you're going to have the one half and the, 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 the third one, which is, I'm going to put my head deeper under the sand and pretend that none of this ever happened. <laughs> yeah. I think the sand people probably not going to see much of a change. I think the yeah. fear people, I think you're going to see a lot of depression and yeah, re, you know, recidivation rates will rise with, with drug use or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there's that other group. What happens to them? I'm hoping that that other group goes to iState.tv and they, <laughs> and, they, and they discover awareness, hope, and action. So they're going to discover they're not living in the world they think they're living in. The coercive enterprise model? No, no. It's a, it's a, it's a lot more vicious and deadly and costly than you ever imagined. But don't worry. There's hope. There's all kinds of technologies. There's free associations that are doing amazing things. And then... You know what? You can take that information, and here's how you can take action. That's what I'm hoping. Well, not necessarily just to iState.tv, but... Well, yes. they could go to agora.threadless.com as well. Yeah, if you go to agora.threadless.com, you'd be like, you know what? Then you, you, you get into a, a fourth group. You know what? None of this is real. <laughs> <laughs> No, man, I'm just going to hang out with the floating heads in non-space and non-time. 